Hello and welcome to Method Integration User Tutorials! My name is Errol and today we are going to take a look at contacts and the difference between contacts and customers. Let's go over to the customers tab and take a gander at the customers and contacts list. When I first started, I had a hard time discerning the difference between a contact and a customer. So to make things as easy as possible, let me do a search on our friend Bob Crenshaw and in this column, you will find his contact, customer, and company name. The first line is the contact in bold. In this case, that's Bob Crenshaw. The second line is the customer, Crenshaw, comma, Bob A, which is in italics. And finally, the company, Crenshaw Services Incorporated. Now, this may be a bit confusing because Bob Crenshaw's name comes up twice for his entry. Why? What is the difference between a contact and a customer? If I were to go over to QuickBooks and do a search on Crenshaw, I find only one entry. You see, the customer is a unique identifier. It can be your client's name, it can be your client's company name, you can name it after the client's pet goat. And whatever you choose, no other client will have this customer name. It's unique, that's what unique means. But a customer can have one or more contacts. Take a look here in Method. There are a multitude of contacts. There's Bob himself, there's Fran, there's Al, there's Carol. All of them are associated with the customer name Crenshaw, comma, Bob A. And as you can see, they each have their own details, their own email, phone number, etc. So the difference between a customer and a contact, a customer name uniquely identifies your client or organization. The contacts are the individual employees of that customer. But why the separation, you may ask? Why do we have Bob Crenshaw, the contact, and Crenshaw, comma, Bob A, the customer? Why are they separated? It's because of QuickBooks. Well, for example, let's say you have a transaction like an invoice, a sales order, or issue a receipt. The thing is, this is done with the customer. If I were to create an invoice right now, it's going to ask me for the customer name. Can I choose the contact Fran Crenshaw? No, Fran doesn't show up. But the customer Crenshaw, Bob A shows up and I can choose him. With transactions, you deal with customers. However, in the CRM world, you deal with contacts. If you schedule an activity, an opportunity, or a case, you normally deal with one person, an individual, and so you assign contacts to them. Here, let's create an activity. Let's say Fran Crenshaw gave me a call on behalf of Crenshaw, Bob A, and look, it's asking for a contact, and I can put in Fran Crenshaw, the contact, in this activity. And so QuickBooks is all about transactions and customers. Method CRM is also about that. However, we've added that whole relational management part of the acronym of CRM. We realize you need to interact with the individual, the contacts. Ah, so much explaining. I hope that makes sense to you because we're going to move on to something different. Where can you add and edit a contact? If you click the go to link in this grid, you will go to the customer of Crenshaw, Bob A. And if I scroll on down, I will find contacts. Clicking the contacts section will bring us to all the contacts within this customer. There's four of them. And if I want to edit any one of these contacts, I just click edit contact. And now I can put even more information on any one of these individual contacts. Maybe Bob has a blog on budgie beautification. I could put that in here. You might, of course, put more important things in your contacts. Okay, one last thing and then I'm done. Method only updates the primary and alternate contacts within QuickBooks. All the other contacts that you see here in this list without contact or alt contact, they are only available within Method CRM. You will not find these contacts in QuickBooks. Historically, QuickBooks only allowed for two contacts, the primary and the alternate. But in Method CRM, we gave you the option to have as many contacts as you wanted. And that's it. Wow, that's contacts and customers. If you have any questions, by all means, leave them in the YouTube comments or you can tweet us at Method CRM. I hope you have a great day and take care. Bye-bye.